Today we are in the beautiful Miami, Florida to learn more about street soccer from Mr. Street Soccer himself. It is Mr. Edward Van Gilt. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Hi, my name is Edward Van Gils, captain of the Rona Dino Globe Street Team. You might know me from FIFA Street or Nike ads and I'm a street football pioneer. Now, we were able to meet up with Ed Van Gils in Miami during the Turf Map Street Series Tour, a street soccer tournament hosted across 15 cities in the US this summer. Edward himself is one of the most legendary street footballers in the world, who's played a massive role in pushing the sport forward. We didn't invent street football, obviously, you know, street football has been there for ages. I think we just changed it a little bit, we gave it some more flavor, a little bit more style. You know, I'm already in the game for more than 20 years. And I see now how street football is developing, like it's growing bigger and bigger, the scene is getting huge. And I'm here to uh, try to grow the sport even more. I'm getting older and older, so I'm trying to be an ambassador and uh, try to help out wherever I can. People that are not familiar with the sport, they sometimes think it's like a circus act, or they think, oh yeah, the tricks, but you cannot use it in the game. So I hope I can change people's minds and that they embrace the sport a little bit more and of course you know get the kids excited I love to be with the scene anyway so those are my uh, things to do all right so what about you know when it comes to these kind of tournaments you know do you think the scene needs more stuff like this or should it be more like lower level just getting people excited this is a good question I think that the truth is somewhere in between the charm of street football is also that is underground you know a little bit like skating but one cannot live without the other so we need a platform too because if the kids don't have a platform they won't do it as much as they would do it now we need more tournaments but I also want to keep it a little bit underground so if anybody know the answer to that question please let me know <laughs> all right the other day I saw you playing with a lot of guys but also Ocho Cinco was there yeah is it cool to you know being able in your position to you know meet up with like big names and you know just play ball with them that's incredible you know I, I still cannot believe it it's something that I love you know I do it for the love of the game it's not for me to make money or to become famous or anything and now you you interact with people like that and they have like respect for you like I have respect for them and that's that's amazing that's something I didn't expect yeah I love it How do you see street football developing? Like, what's the next step for street football, ideally, in your opinion? Good question, uh, especially the ideally part, because, you know, I don't know. I hope that the professional world will pick it up, because I think it's a big benefit, you know? Big players like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, especially Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, they all have this street background, and those are like the special players. Those are the ones that you want to go to the stadium for. And I think nowadays we have too much players that do just what the coach says. We also need to have creative players to have the beautiful game. My last question, what inspires you? You know, what makes you get up in the morning? Well, first of all, what inspires me is my family. The next thing is, I came from a not very well background, so I'm happy to be here. You know, that still motivates me to get more out of life, because I really think that if you work hard, you can achieve anything. You know, people, they dream too much. And a dream shouldn't be just a dream. You gotta chase your dream and make it happen. So, Edward, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I had an awesome time listening to your answers. And for you guys out there, I really wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section below. What is your favorite thing about street soccer? I know, it's a difficult question because there are so many different answers. And I wanna hear all of them. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And me and Ed, we're just gonna continue chilling at the South Beach in Miami, Florida. Where should we sure. go next? Mm, left. Left, we're gonna go left. <laughs> Guys, see you next time. Thank you see for tuning you. in.